So let's switch gears a little bit and talk about how uh, to manage a macular degeneration patient. Clearly, these patients are concerned. They have friends with macular degeneration who are blind. They're concerned themselves about going blind, and they want to know what they can do. So when an macular degeneration patient comes into my office, I first talk to them about family history. Usually they're brought with some, they're, somebody brought them to our office. And so I turn around and say, do you have a family history? Are you related to the patient? We know that 20 to 30% of macular degeneration is inherited and does run in families. I talk to them about risk factors, which we'll cover. I talk to them about lifestyle modification. I tell them that this is a disease that they can take control of and that they can change. I, taught, I teach them how to use an Amsler grid every single day, and I explain to them that an Amsler, a change on their Amsler grid is truly an emergency. You know, I think uh, we are all taught in uh, the, uh, you know, ocular vision field that a macula on retinal detachment is a true emergency, but the reality is that uh, macular, you know, a Mac off detachment regains 99% of vision most of the time. A change in the Amsler grid, in my opinion, is just as emergent as a MAC on retinal detachment. I talk to my patients about vitamin supplements, and then lastly, I reassure them. I tell them macular degeneration is a slow disorder, and that we have plenty of time to intervene, and that there's things that they can do that will help their vision in the long run. So let's look at those risk factors. Uh, we know that race is a risk factor. Certain races are more susceptible to this disease than others. Uh, those races with light skin, uh, light pigment, or more at risk than those with dark pigment. Uh, we know that genetics plays a role. About 20 to 30 percent of macular degeneration is inherited. And so if you have a family history, you're probably more susceptible. Uh, we know that socioeconomic factors can be risk factors. Unfortunately, in this country, we know that those at a lower socioeconomic class have worse disease. This is thought to be related to um, the type of environment that they live, the type of uh, diet that they eat, and other factors around them. The number one risk factor for this disease to progress is aging. Now, we don't have a lot of control over aging. Either you're aging or you're dead, uh, but aging is the number one risk factor. Uh, cardiovascular disease is also linked with macular degeneration. In terms of the number one most preventable risk factor, that would be cigarette smoking. We know that smokers progress at a faster rate than any other class of people, and that if you smoke and have macular degeneration, you're asking for vision loss. There are a number of other casual risk factors, and those are hypertension, serum lipids, diabetes, alcohol, and light exposure. So let's review. Smoking, gotta quit smoking if you uh, have macular degeneration. Obesity, general unhealthiness is not as good than being healthy and being your correct BMI. We know that a poor diet is linked with macular degeneration progression, sedentary lifestyle. What should you be doing? Well, we know that fish, nuts, green leafy vegetables is terrific for you, and people that are healthy who exercise have less severe macular degeneration than those who don't.